welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Anita and I tweak your favorite recipes to be lower in calories, a little bit higher in protein, whenever possible. And also I'm gonna add some extra indulgent recipes as well, since we are cutting calories most of the time from all our foods, we can as well indulge every now and then. So how does peach gobbler sound for breakfast? Oh yeah, definitely delicious. However, I have one even better, a peach cutler for breakfast, for breakfast <laughs> with even lower calories, no butter, no oil, not that much sugar at all. That sounds even better, I would agree. No, it's not the same peach cobbler with all the butter and the buttery taste, but can guarantee you it's really, really good. It has oatmeal and yogurt and fruit. It's almost like oatmeal for breakfast, but it looks like a peach cobbler. That's, I think it's a win-win situation here. Let's grab the ingredients. Are going to need five ripe medium peaches about four ounces each you can use more if you like or pretty much as, as much as you like some pits in peaches are easier to remove than others so if you are struggling just like I am right now with these just cut them up around that pit and remove the flesh piece by piece Place the peaches in a baking dish. Uh, this one I'm using is a five inch by uh, nine inch. Sprinkle some cinnamon, cornstarch, and I also have here a monk, food, a monk fruit sweetener to save on calories. Use sugar if you don't like sweeteners. For extra flavor, I'm gonna add some lemon zest. I used about half of a lemon zest here. Stir and bake it at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes until peaches soften. Just a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to work on the dough itself. So here I have 100 grams of oats, uh, that's a bit over a cup. I ground it to get oat flour, but if you don't want to go through that process, you can also buy oat flour. It's just going to be a little bit more expensive that way. One teaspoon of baking powder brown sugar or sugar substitute, any sweetener, maple syrup, honey, or any low calorie syrup, whatever makes you feel good. Non-fat Greek yogurt, half a cup of milk, and a, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I use 2% uh, regular milk here, but you can use any milk you like. And also I added uh, that milk in batches to make sure I don't get too runny dough. And this is a perfect consistency. So now spread the dough over the peaches evenly, as, as much as you can, obviously. 
and I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and into the oven it goes for 30 minutes and this is exactly how it looks like right after you take it out of the oven nice and bubbly I like to eat it hot with some Greek yogurt on top what's your favorite topic for peach cobbler leave a comment below and sprinkle some with some powdered sugar for presentation only unless you want to just dig in right away if you divide it in four pieces each piece has about 200 calories so you can easily eat half of it for breakfast and feel good about it i hope you enjoyed this recipe and i will see you on the next one